Hey VC, welcome back. This is Hubtunes. I am Mike. Am I getting weird lighting? <laughs> Seems like I am. I don't know. I guess, I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, it might be reflecting off that mirror. Um, I don't know. Oh well, whatever. We're not real high tech here at <laughs> Hubtunes, as you've noticed. <laughs> um, rock and roll birthdays. We are almost through with this series. Uh, rock and roll birthdays for October 2022. Hard to believe we are almost done. We'll do November, December, and then I, next year I think i uh, got a few ideas for a different series. So um, let's do it. Rock and roll birthdays, October. Um, Earl Slick, the guitarist on this masterpiece of an album, J David Bowie's Station to Station. This is probably my favorite Bowie. This and Hunky Dory flip-flop between number one and number two. I absolutely love this record. I think his guitar work on here is spec. Acular. He also plays guitar on uh, a couple others. Uh, he's on the live album. He's also on uh, he's on a very underrated uh, album called The New Day, which came out several years before uh, Bowie passed away, but was his second to last record. What a great record that is. I highly recommend that. Uh, people don't talk about that album all that much, but he plays some terrific guitar on there. He is 70. It seems like he should be older. I don't know why, but it seems like Earl Slick should be older than 70. Um, uh, Phil Oakey of the Human League is 67. This is Dare, their biggest selling album and probably their best. It is a new wave masterpiece. Fantastic record. If you're into new wave, everyone remembers this. Do you, um, what was it? <laughs> you know the song. <laughs> uh, next up, Chris Lowe of... The Pet Shop Boys. This is introspective. This is a great record. I still have the hype sticker on it for some reason. I usually take hype stickers off because I don't want my record collection to look like a record store. But for some reason, the hype sticker is still on here. This is a really good record. Domino Dancing is on here. What else? Um, always on my mind. Fantastic record. Introspective. Chris Lowe of the Pet Shop Boys is, did I say? 63. Uh, next up, the great incredible steve miller is 79 <laughs> wow uh steve miller this is his great album this is his, the great album um sailor i love the first four maybe five steve miller records i think this one is great um the debut is awesome fantastic blues psychedelic blues rock records i you know, I, I understand why he got so successful. I mean, he was huge in 74, 75, 76, uh, even 77. Um, huge with the, that string of albums and number one hits and w what a career this guy has had. But I still go back to the early stuff. Love it. Absolutely love it. Bob Geldof is 71. I am a huge Boomtown Rats fan. I was going to show a Boomtown Rats album. Um... Art of Servicing, probably my favorite. I love the Boomtown Rats. I, they should have been much more successful in the United States, but they really weren't. There's one, probably one hit in the U.S. And a hit, mm, not so much. Uh, but this is his solo record, I, the first solo record. It's called the Deep in the Heart of Nowhere. This is a really, really good record. Um, highly recommend this. If you like Bob Geldof, even if you don't, I, I, I think it's just a great record. Everyone plays on this. Uh, Sting is on here. Michael Hutchins is on here. Uh, Bono's on here. There, there's a lot of different people that just guessed on this record. It's really, really underrated record from the 80s. Uh, next up, uh, Kevin Cronin. He is the lead singer from REO Speedwagon. I am not an REO Speedwagon fan. I do like Gary Richrath. Uh, he passed away many years ago, actually. He was the guitarist. He was a pretty good guitarist. I really respected him. This is their album, You Can't Tune a Piano, but you, you, can't, <laughs> you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. One of the great album titles of all time that I just flubbed up. But decent album. Decent album. This has, uh, well, it's got a couple of hits on it. What was it? Uh, da, 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 what was the hit on this? This would be uh, Roll With The Changes was, and Time For Me To Fly were the two big hits. Um, not a huge REO Speedwagon, but like I said, I had a great respect for uh, Gary Richrath. He was a terrific, terrific guitarist. Uh, next up, <laughs> speaking of great guitarists, David Hidalgo is 68. 
68. This is Los Lobos. He is the guitarist and lead singer. He is an absolutely terrific musician. I love, love, love Los Lobos. This is Kiko in the Lavender Moon, my favorite. Yeah, definitely my favorite uh, Los Lobos record. This and The Neighborhood are two back-to-back -back albums that are absolutely spectacular. If you don't listen to Los Lobos, start with this and maybe The Neighborhood right after that. Great, great records. This is the Mobile Fidelity. It sounds absolutely spectacular. Guys, highly recommend this record. Uh, next up, the incredible Tom York is 54. I was going to show a Radiohead record. But I've been playing this again all week. When this came out, this is The Smile, the new album that just came out this year, to rave, rave, rave reviews. When it came out, I burnt it out for like a month. I played this almost every day. I streamed it in my car. I played the album. Uh, wow. What a great, great release. I then had to put it away, and I put it down. I put it in the rack over there, and I did not touch it. I pulled it out earlier this week. Guys, this is going to be in my top three records of the year. No doubt about it. It might even be number one. Absolutely fantastic. Yellow vinyl. It sounds terrific. The Smile. Tom York. 54. Uh, next up, Jackson Brown. The great Jackson Brown, singer-songwriter from the 70s, is 74. Uh, I love his debut, uh, saturate before using might be my favorite uh, Jackson Brown record, but this is m definitely number two. Uh, this is um, running on empty. This is kind of like lo-fi demo sounding records. Really, really cool. Um, Nothing But Time is on here, I believe. Um, da, 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 da. Rosie, The Road, Running On Empty, um, Cocaine, no, run. Uh, time that's probably on saturate before using but great musicians on here david lindley fuck great guitarist i almost swore i'm sorry what's well, my channel i can swear if i want um yeah nothing but time is on here yeah and the loadout and stay so some of it's recorded live some of it's just demo quality stuff this is a really good record probably definitely my second favorite behind saturate before using his debut album with uh, dr my eyes and uh, jamaica say you will <sighs> what a great record that is uh, next up, PJ Harvey is 53. This is Dry, definitely my favorite, definitely my favorite PJ Harvey record. I love how she is reissuing her records. Most of these came out in the CD era. They're all out on vinyl now. You can get them. They're available. They are in print. And you can get the, the partner record of demos that go along with the record and the demos are really good there for every one of her records that she just reissued all the demos are fantastic um really really cool uh, reissue campaign that she did i love the way she did it with two separate records you can buy them or you don't want them you don't have to have them and these were all reasonably priced i think like 24 dollars for a pj harvey record all good in my book uh next up wow he is old Oh, here's the demo. <laughs> here's the demos for Dry. <laughs> Pulled that. Uh, yeah, great. Really cool stuff. Highly recommend that. Next up, Paul Simon, 81 years old. Whew. Wow. Uh, Paul Simon's solo debut, his best record. I don't, absolutely fantastic. You guys know the song, Me and Julio. It's, what a great record. 81 years old. Uh, next up, the incredible Bob Weir is. <laughs> 75. Bob Weir of the Grateful Dead, lead uh, rhythm guitarist, singer, songwriter, extraordinaire. What a great guy. Um, I was going to show his album Ace. I couldn't find it. <laughs> it's in the... It's, it's back there somewhere. I have no idea where. But this is one of my favorite um, Grateful Dead records. This is from the Mars Hotel. It doesn't get doesn't get a lot of love, but I really, really like this. It's, it's a cool, cool record. It's on that green Warner Brothers... Um, it is really, really cool. Uh, you know, China Doll, Scarlet Begonia, Ship of Fools, Pride of Cucamonga, Loose Lucy, uh, U.S. Blues, Unbroken Chain, the Phil Masterpiece, and uh, Money Money. Great, great record. And next up, we got, wow. <laughs> Grace Slick is 83. Happy birthday, Grace. Wow, 83 years old. Um, to come out of that era and be 83, a lot of people didn't have a chance, but wow, Grace is chugging along, making her art, 
Hate in the music industry. This is Bathing at Baxter's, uh, Jefferson Airplane, and a weird, weird, weird album. It still takes me, I, I still don't know if I like this record, <laughs> but it is one cool piece of work. It is really, really cool. Psychedelic as psychedelic can get at ba Bathing at Baxter's, the Jefferson Airplane. And last up, uh, last up, this is it. Johnny Marr is 59. Johnny Marr of the Smiths fame, the great guitarist from that band. This is his uh, solo uh, work with Bernard Sumner uh, of uh, New Order. This is called Electronic. This is a really, really good dancey, pop, new wave-ish record. Really, really cool stuff. He's, he plays, when I saw him live the last time, about, I saw him live about six years ago, five, six years ago, and he played a bunch of songs from this record. Really, really good. Um, electronic. Highly, highly recommend this also. If you are into 80s synth pop rock. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm not doing a lot. There's only 15. You guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate Oh, you know what I was... Oh, I didn't do. I always forget this. I always do... Because when I look up the birthdays, the, the site I use has dead people in it too, and I don't do dead people on this video. But there are a couple that... There are, there are a bunch I really wanted to just do shout outs for being old or well and dead uh julie andrews 87 herb fame you know who herb fame is herb fame from peaches and herb is 80 years old um stevie ray vaughn would have been 68 if he was still alive today uh, he was 35 when he died john lennon 82 sean lennon 47 Sean Lennon is 47, people. <laughs> Ugh, hard to believe. Uh, Theolonius Monk would be 105 if he was still alive. Art Blakey, the great jazz drummer, one of my favorite drummers of all time, probably even my top three. 103 he would be if he was still alive today. They're probably happy they're not 103 and 105 years old. Whatever, you guys, take care. Uh, I got a bunch of concert reviews as always coming up uh, and uh, some new releases and all that crap so uh, you guys stay well and I will talk to you soon take care bye